So good day everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about crystallographic points, directions, and planes. So when dealing with crystalline materials, it often becomes necessary for us to specify specific points within the unit cell, a specific direction, or a certain set of planes. So labeling conventions have already been established in which three numbers, usually, or indices, are used to designate point locations, directions, and planes. The basis for determining the index values in the unit cell uh, depends on a right-handed coordinate system consisting of three axes situated at one of the corners of our unit cell, as shown in the figure here. So, ito yung axis natin, A, B, and C. And we can see that for unit cells that are not perpendicular or that the axes are not mutually perpendicular, yung axis din nila is, uh, yung indices nila natin would follow the same. It would follow yung A, B, and C directions natin rather than yung traditional na X, Y, Z coordinate system natin. So take note of this when we're dealing with crystal systems such as yung hexagonal, rhombohedral, monoclinic, and the triclinic systems. So let's start with our crystallographic points. So for crystallographic points, let's say we want to define a specific position in our unit cell. Uh, we can denote it in the three coordinate system using our Q, R, S indices, where Q, R, and S are the relative distances along the A, B, and C directions from a specified origin. So for Q, it's along A. For R, it's along the B direction, and for S, it's along the C direction. So for example, let's take this origin. So sa origin natin, sa origin yan, hindi naman tayo nag-translate along QRS or along ABC. So QRS will be 0, 0, 0. So when we're, when we're writing crystallographic points, we'll see here that we don't put commas, we don't put as parentheses or brackets or anything, we just put the numbers 0, 0, 0. How about this one? Let's say this is point X. For point X naman, this would be one unit along A, no units along B and C, so this will be 1, 0, 0. Now let's take, for example, this point here. Let's call this point Y. For point Y, we're translating one unit along A here, one unit along V here, and one unit along C to get to this point. So this will be 1, 1, 1. So notice here that uh, even though magkakaiba yung length or the lengths are different or A, B, and C, they're still 1, 1, 1. Since recall that we're basing off these vectors and A, B, and Q, R, S are fractional. Um, like distances along A, B, and C directions. We can also have fractions. So for example, we have a point here, point C. So for point C, let's say this one half along A and one half along B. Point Z will then be one half, one half, and your S natin will be zero. So now we go into our crystallographic direction. So this is defined as a line directed between two crystallographic points. So this will become a vector. So the notation for our crystallographic direction, something like this, have u, v, w, where u, v, and w corresponds to the directions along, along a, b, and c, respectively. And this is enclosed in our square brackets here without any commas. So to obtain our crystallographic directions, what I personally do is first, I find the coordinates of the head and tail of our direction vector. Then I subtract the tail coordinates from the head coordinates for each of u, v, and w corresponding to the points x, uh, q, r, s for each of the tail and the head. And then lastly, if needed, I turn them into the smallest possible set of integers that I can. And I enclose this again in our square brackets. 
So now let's go for an example. Let's say we have this direction here in our unit cell. Let's call this direction direction M. So to get the uh, index of this direction, we use the following steps here. So for M, yung kanyang uh, tail is nandito and yung head niya is nandito. And then yung, uh, yung coordinates no ating head is along B and along C. Along B, it's 1. Along A, 0. 0, 1. And along C, it's 1 half. Meanwhile, yung sa tail naman niya, conveniently, nagay ko siya sa origin para matrian tayo. This will become 0, 0, 0. So to get uh, the direction, head coordinates minus tail coordinates. So we have for u is equal to 0 minus 0. For v equal to 1 minus 0. And for c, or for w, sorry, it will become 1 half minus 0. Uvw will be equal to 0, 1, 1 half. Have it up. U, V, W, equal to 0, 1, 1 half. But since we have a fraction here, we need to turn them to the smallest possible set of integers here. So we do that by multiplying each of these by 2. And the correct direction would be 0, 2, 1. And close in brackets and no commas. So now let's try a different example. Let's use this direction here. Going dito. So it's along the basal plane AB. Let's call this uh, vector N. So vector N, yung head niya is at in this point, And this point is 1, 0, 0. Yung vector, yung tail naman ng vector natin, it's at this point here, which we know as 0, 1, 0. So, to get yung UVW natin dito, makita natin, we have U is head minus tail. So, we have 1 minus 0. Yung second naman natin for V, 0 minus 1. And for C, we would have 0 minus 0. This will become 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1. Negative 1, 0 minus 0, 0. So for our index notation, for our Miller index notation, uh, yung n natin, uh, pag meron tayong negative na value, para hindi tayo malito, ang ginagawa natin is sinalagay natin yung bar sa taas. So yung negative parang inaakit lang natin, magiging 1 bar 0 siya. So this would be our direction for the vector shown here. So one final example for our crystallographic direction. Let's say naman we want to visualize what the direction would look like in our crystal. So let's say we're given this direction. 1, 2, 2 direction. So in this case, we just reverse what we did before. So 1, 2, 2. Ang mangyari dyan, uh, we can take this as the coordinates of the head. And let's just put the direction or the tail of the vector at 0, 0, 0. So it's just as if we are looking for the points 1, 2, 2 here. So we have 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is, will be your tail. This will be your head. 1, 2, 2. This is uh, 0, 0, 0. And your direction will be eto. For some crystal structures, several non-parallel directions with different indices could be crystallographically equivalent, meaning that the spacing of atoms along each direction might be the same. So in that case, we might group these directions together in what we call a uh, family of directions. So pag meron tayong family of directions, ang notation natin for that one is... This one, so we have yung less than sign, and we have yung index, uvw, 
And ganyan. So this would be a our family of directions in contrast to our regular direction na square brackets dito you have the less than and greater than sign na ganito. So take for example uh, in our cubic system. So the family of directions the concept is usually arises in your cubic systems. So we have let's say the 100 direction. The 100 direction here is ito. But in the cubic system, this is crystallographically equivalent to this direction here. This is the uh, 0, 1, 0 direction. And it's equivalent to this direction. This is the 0, 0, 1 direction. So we can lump all these directions and yung kanilang reverse, yung paganyan, paganto, and bababa into one single family. So this will be the family of 1. Zero, 0 directions which is composed of the 100 zero, zero direction, the zero, 010 zero direction, the zero, zero, 001, we have 1 bar 00, zero. we have zero, 01 bar zero and 001 zero, zero, bar. So do take note that the family of directions does not happen in all kinds of crystal systems. So hindi ibig sabihin na si 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1 are crystallographically equivalent in your cubic system that it will be the same as in, let's say, a triclinic system. So let's look back into our crystal dito. Makita natin yung 1, 0, 0 ito. Ito yung 0, 1, 0, and to you 0, 0, 1. So makita natin yung lengths ni A, B, and C are not the same. Therefore, they are not crystallographically equivalent. So this family, you need to valid for this crystal system. Now we go into our crystallographic planes. So the orientation of planes for a crystal structure are represented in a similar manner such as in our crystallographic directions. Again, we use our three-axis coordinate system with our unit cell as the uh, basis of our like indices. So the crystallographic planes are represented by what we call the Miller index, which has three indices, H, K, L. So this is for most uh, crystallographic systems. And any two planes parallel to each other are equivalent and have identical indices. So, the procedure to determine the H, K, L, and inde uh, indices in the Miller Index system are as follows. First, we ensure that the plane that we are concerned with does not hit the origin. If it does hit the origin, we reposition the origin to another lattice point if needed. Next, we take the intercept of the plane with L, uh, A, B, and C. Uh, the intercept is uh, measured with respect to our given origin or the new origin if moved. Then we take reciprocal of the intercepts. Then after which, if necessary, the indices are changed to smallest integral values. So in some representations, we don't do this, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So as an example, let's try this plane. So let's say this plane is plane P. So first step, we ensure that the plane does not hit the origin. So it does not hit the origin there. No need to reposition the origin. Secondly, we take the intercept of the plane with A, B, and C. So dito, point P uh, intersects A at 1, A, intersects at 1, B, intersects at 1, C. So we have 1, 1. One, we take the reciprocal of the intercepts and the reciprocal will be the values of H, K, and L for A, the reciprocal of this one, this one, this one, respectively. So reciprocal lang naman ng 1 is 1. So we have 1, 1, 1. Then we enclose this in our parentheses and this will be the Miller index of this plane T. So let's try a different example. Now let's try determining 
the Miller index of this plane here. So let's say this plane is um, P. So we follow these steps again to get the Miller index. So first, we ensure that the plane has not hit the origin. Since here, it does hit the origin. So we can reposition our origin to another lattice point. So in my case, to make it simple, I'll just reposition the origin from here to So ito na yung bago nating origin. And dito, now we get to get the intercept of planes uh, with A, B, C with respect to our origin. So our new A, B, and C are nandito. So this is uh, A, B, and C. So the intercept of this plane with respect to A, you can see it does not intersect A. So intercept niya would be infinity. So this is for point, uh, this is for plane Q. Infinity yung sa A. Sa B naman, ang intercept niya is nandito. Ito. Kung ito yung origin natin, and this is positive B, this will be negative 1. And for C naman, sa taas yung intercept niya, it is halfway through this one. So we can say this is 1 half. Now we take the reciprocal of these intercepts. So to get the reciprocal, reciprocal of infinity, so pag parallel siya dun sa ating yung axis parallel sa plane, just take this in the middle index as 0. For B, reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. And for C, the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. Since this one is negative, we then change this to 1 bar. So it will become 0, 1 bar, 2. And uh, no need to change the smallest integral value, since it's already the smallest integral value is possible. We enclose this in our parentheses, and this is the Miller index for plane Q. Now, let's say we want to create a plane given uh, a Miller index. Let's say we get 1, 0, 1. Miller index of 1, 0, 1. How would we construct the plane? Uh, basically, we just reverse what we did uh, a while ago. So 1, 0, 1, this means that the reciprocal of these ones will be the intercepts of the plane with respect to our origin. So getting the intercepts of each, we have intercept 1, intercept 0 is infinity. This will mean that the plane is parallel to the d-axis. And for c, intercept of 1 is just 1. So we just plot these uh, points in our a, b, c here. So a it hits 1. For B, it's infinity, so it does not hit the B axis. And for C, it's the 1 there. So tracing the plane, we get this plane. So since it's parallel to B, we know that we need to make a parallel plane to this B axis here. And this will be our 1, 0, 1 plane. So an important thing to note is that when we designate our planes in our unit cell or in our crystal, when we say we have a 100 plane or a 110 plane or a 111 plane, is that we're not only describing one plane, but we're describing the collection of all of the planes that have that kind of orientation. As seen here, so this is the 001 plane for this structure, this is the collection of the 110 planes, and this collection of the 111 planes for this crystal structure. If in uh, crystallographic directions, we have the family of directions for some crystal structures, uh, in the crystallographic planes, we also have a similar concept called the family of planes. So a family of planes is just a set of planes that are crystallographically equivalent. So that is, uh, they have the same atomic packing. So a family is designated by uh, indices, 
kind of similar to our Miller index, but instead of having, let's see, uh, play natin is 1, 1, 1. But instead of having a uh, parenthesis, it's enclosed in curly brackets. So pag ganyan yung notation natin, this is a family of planes. So let's say in the cubic structure, uh, this plane, this is our 0, 0, 1 plane. This is crystallographic equivalent, crystallographically equivalent to this one. It's a 0, 0, 1 bar plane. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. So in this case, we denote these different uh, planes. And the other planes as our this one zero zero family, and in this one zero zero family we have these planes one zero 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 one zero 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 one, and the negatives of this one one zero 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 one bar zero and zero zero one bar. So again, do note that in not in all crystal structures do we have a family of planes. So for example, here, this plane here is not a family of this plane here. Even though, let's say, this plane below, this is your 0, 0, 1 bar plane. And this plane here, this is our 0, 1 bar, 0 plane. They are not crystallographically equivalent, so these two... The ain't a family. 